Hey, this is Apostle Bassi at John Bassi Apostle Ministries. We're just trying to go right into the word. I am confident this word will bless you. Stay tuned. God bless you. Apostle Bassi. my heart for us to show some gratitude okay so I'm gonna take a moment this very moment to talk more about the Thanksgiving heart Thanksgiving heart as a church we have been through some trials we've been through some challenges over the years over the years as a people, I'm sure everyone, every single person has a testimony or the other to share about things they've been through, places they've been through, obstacles they've had to face, others they've had to jump, praise God. Amen. We ought to be uh, thankful. We ought to count, you know, how faithful God has been in our lives and we ought to give Him thanks. We ought to show some gratitude, praise God. We ought to show some gratitude to our God. He's a faithful God. It's a good God. It's a glorious God. So on that note, I would like for us to turn our Bibles to the book of Psalms, chapter 136. Psalms, chapter 136. You may be seated. Yes, Lord. Psalms 136. And I read Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of, of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders. For his mercy endureth forever. Praise God. To him that by wisdom made the heavens. For his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters. For his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. To him that made great lights. For his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 9, Psalms 136. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. Yes, Lord. To him that smote Egypt in their first part, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 12. With a strong hand, I'm going to stretch out arm, uh, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. But over oh, true Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. Praise God. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smart great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, Sihon, king of the Hammerites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Basha, for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 21. And gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. He will an heritage unto Israel, his servant. For his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our low estate? For his mercy endureth forever. Verse 24. And has redeemed us. And has redeemed us from our enemies. For his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh? For his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. People of God, you ought to give him thanks. He's a good God. 
Hey man, he's a good God since we started this year. And, and, and to present, God has been faithful. Hey man, God has been faithful. God has been faithful. You go to your daily ass assignments, press God. You go to your workplaces. You go to your businesses, press God. You go to your schools. You pursue your career, press God. God has been faithful. He has been gracious to you. Won't you give him thanks, press God? You can visit us on www.lorwctransformationcenter.com. Again, that's lorwctransformationcenter.com. God bless you. I have some resources that will bless your life. You can go on Amazon.com, press God, and type Dr. John A. Bassett. Again, type Dr. John A. Bassett. You will find all my resources there. I have books on marriage, praise God. I have books on this, you know, life discovery. I have books on real estate, praise God. I have books on daily devotionals that will bless your life. I'm confident that your life will not remain the same again. This book is power packed, praise God. Can I get some encouragement? 31 days to count, counteract every discouragement in your life. This book will take you from where you are to where you ought to be. I have another book. I saw Jesus, so can you. This, you know, speaks of my encounter with Jesus and how God gave me instructions for the ministry. I'm sure your life will not remain the same again. This book has nine practical steps to take your walk with God to the next level. And then I have monthly devotionals for the whole month. Monthly devotional for the whole year. Praise God, you get each book for each month. And we have for the whole year. For the whole year, your life will not remain the same again. In the name of Jesus, go on Amazon and type Dr. John A. Bassi, or you type the, the title, Shedding of Growth in Hebrews, which is you meant to live. God, your life will not remain the same again. Amen. How many of you know that the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, he has blessed us with lands, with landed properties, praise God. I want you to know that there are ways that you can become a homeowner as well. God has shown me the secret and I've revealed those secrets in this book. I want you to become a homeowner. Also, you could get this book by going on Amazon.com and typing Dr. John A. Bassett. Discover your life, praise God. This is the first book I wrote, 52 Weeks of Divine Revelation. This book will change your life. Go on Amazon and type the title, Discover Your Life. Your life will not remain the same again, praise God. Here's another book, In Pursuit of a Lasting Marriage. Amen. A marriage that will not end in a divorce. Praise God. A listed 31 things you must know before you say, I do. Praise God. And 31 things every married couple must know to enjoy their union. Your life will not remain the same again in Jesus' name. Would you appreciate him? Would you say he's worthy? The Bible says God causes his rain to shine on both the just and the unjust. Even if you think you are not faithful enough to enjoy God's mercy, I want you to know it's still merciful unto you. It's still gracious unto you. It's still your God. The Bible calls him the God of gods, the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords. He's a faithful God. He's gracious to his people. Whether you know him, whether you don't know him, praise God. He wants, he wants to extend that love to you as well. And he wants you to love him back, praise God. He has come. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. God's gift to us is not just for a certain people, it's for all people. Praise God. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you've been, it doesn't matter the things you've done. I want you to know God's love is available for you as well. Amen. God's love is available for you as well. Hallelujah. So we must always give Him thanks. We must show a heart of gratitude. We must show to the Lord we acknowledge His presence. We acknowledge His supremacy. We acknowledge His faithfulness. But by God, we've been able to do the things we're able to do. Hallelujah. People of God, as a church, as a ministry, we've been around for some time. We've been through some challenges, but here we are standing. Here we are still firing on because God is faithful. God is faithful. We had his plan to, to bring us down. But God showed up. Praise God. God showed up. He 
made a way for us when there seemed to be no way. Praise God. The Bible said it provides water in the desert places. When you least expect miracles to show forth, God shows up. When men think, when men think it's over, God shows up and says, it's not over. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be for you. Whoever be against you, they're going to be against me. That's our God for you. He's a faithful God. So you and I, we must count our blessings. We must count our blessings. Focus on what God has done for you. Amen. You are alive today. You are a beneficiary of the blessings of God. Amen. You have always enjoyed His favor. God preserved you. God preserved your life. Praise God. God preserved your going out. You're coming in. Praise God. His grace and mercy are always on you. In spite of your unfaithfulness. He's your God too. You know, many times, you know, whenever they have uh, presidential elections, right, and the president is declared as a president. Many times when the president gives speeches, for the most part, the president will tell the people, I make a statement like this. For those of you who didn't vote for me, I'm going to be a president too. I'm going to need your support. Praise God. People of God, whether you know God or whether you don't, He's your God. God is the boss. Talking about God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The one who said his only begotten son. He is your God. He is your God. He's the God of all gods. He's your boss. I know there are many religions in the world. Every religion has a God. God. Every religion, there's a God. You know, attached to every religion. Whether you're a Buddhist, Chris God. Whether you are, uh, 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 is he uh, Hindu, Chris God. They have their own gods. But God is saying in Psalms 136, said it, he said, he said in verse 2, all oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. Give thanks unto the God of gods. He is your boss. Doesn't matter what religion you belong to, praise God. He is your boss because he is the God of all gods. He's a faithful God. He loves you. You may not know him, but he loves you. Because the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 8, tells us that. So while we were yet seen us, while we didn't know him, while we rejected him, while we believe in our own knowledge, while we believe in, 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 in what we started in the college, praise God, he loved us. God always loved us before you came to him, before you even think about him. He's always loved you and he will continue to love you. While we were yet sinners, the Bible says Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Christ died for us. It doesn't matter how bad you may have been. It doesn't matter the things you may have done. He loves you still. I don't want you to lose your hope in God. Amen. I don't want you to lose your faith in God. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. Maybe you're about to give up. Maybe you're about to throw in the towel. I want you to know that God is faithful. God is faithful. He loves you still. Don't you give up. It's not over. Hallelujah. Don't you give up. It's not over. Hallelujah. You can visit us on www.lorwc transformationcenter.com again that's l-o-r-w-c transformationcenter.com god bless you i have some resources that will bless your life 
go go on amazon.com press god and type dr john a bassett again type dr john a bassett you will find all my resources there i have books on marriage praise god i have books on this you know life discovery i have books on real estate praise god i have books on daily devotionals that will bless your life i'm confident that your life not remain the same again this book is power packed praise god can i get some encouragement 31 days to count, counteract every discouragement in your life. This book will take you from where you are to where you ought to be. I have another book. I saw Jesus, so can you. This, you know, speaks of my encounter with Jesus and how God gave me instructions for the ministry. I'm sure your life will not remain the same again. This book has nine practical steps to take your walk with God to the next level. And then I have monthly devotionals for the whole month. Monthly devotional for the whole year. Praise God, you get each book for each month. And we have for the whole year, for the whole year, your life will not remain the same again. In the name of Jesus, go on Amazon and type Dr. John A. Bassey, or you type the, the title, Shedding of Growth in Hebrews, which life you meant to live. God, your life will not remain the same again. Amen. How many of you know that the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, he has blessed us with lands, with landed properties, praise God. I want you to know that there are ways that you can become a homeowner as well. God has shown me this secret and I've revealed those secrets in this book. I want you to become a homeowner. Also, you could get this book by going on Amazon.com and typing Dr. John A. Bassett. Discover your life, praise God. This is the first book I wrote, 52 Weeks of Divine Revelation. This book will change your life. Go on Amazon and type the title, Discover Your Life. Your life will not remain the same again, praise God. Here's another book, In Pursuit of a Lasting Marriage. Amen. A marriage that will not end in a divorce, praise God. It listed 31 things you must know before you say, I do, praise God. And 31 things every married couple must know to enjoy their union. Your life will not remain the same again in Jesus' name. People of God, I just want you to know that giving thanks to God shows Him how much you appreciate Him. Hallelujah. When you give Him thanks, you express how much you are appreciating. And as you do that, praise God, He's going to want to do more things for you. He's going to want to walk more with you. Because He recognizes that you are not a snob. You don't ignore Him. You don't relegate Him. You acknowledge Him. Hallelujah. He sees that. And if He sees a friend in you, guess what? He's going to be your friend. Praise God, and it's going to want to be a permanent friend. A friend who's going to guide you, praise God. A friend who's going to tell you the truth at all times. A friend who will not lie to you. A friend who wants the best for you. A friend who will not backbite you, praise God. A friend who will not tell on you, praise God. A friend who will take, take your shame away, praise God. A friend who's always got your back. He wants to be your friend. You know, many times, because of a little challenge or the other, people will believe, sometimes they think in their belief. And I understand. I understand that sometimes, you know, one may, may think in their belief. But I'm speaking to you right now that the same God is still God. He sees what you're going through, He knows what you're going through. He has, he has something on his mind for you. And that's why he said in his word, better is the end of a thing than its beginning. He's got your back. He knows that all things is causing to work together for your good. It's causing everything to work together for your good. Just keep believing, keep trusting, and continue to show him that you're grateful. With a heart of gratitude, people of God, I want you to begin to count your blessings right now, wherever you are. Just begin to count your blessings. Say, Lord, I thank you. From the beginning of this year until now, and as long as I live, I'm grateful, Lord. I'm grateful for my spouse. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for my career. I'm grateful for my businesses. Praise God, begin to count those blessings right now. Begin to count those blessings. I'm grateful for my school. 
I'm grateful for my college. Praise God. I'm grateful, Lord. I'm thankful, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, I'm thankful, Lord. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. You'll be surprised what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Let's bless his holy name right now. Father, we thank you. Father, we exalt you because you're a faithful God. Thank you for this opportunity to worship right now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Almighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Be blessed.